I sometimes worry that we waste too much valuable time on things that tear us apart and ultimately don't matter. You may have noticed last year that I have very little interest and patience in fighting the so-called culture wars. Every good and worthy cause taken to an extreme, and if there's one thing we are good at today, it's taking everything to extremes, can become toxic and destructive. It used to be said that all politics is local. I, uh, I no longer believe that to be true. Today, all politics is national. And that is bad, it's very bad. The easiest thing in the world is to watch MSNBC or Fox News and simply adopt all of their talking points and policies. It's certainly more entertaining than this speech. It's the most tried and true way to get likes on social media. It's also terribly destructive. And it certainly isn't leadership. But that's not us. That's not Utah. At least it's not Utah at its best. The good people of our state and our country are in desperate search for leadership, a desperate search for hope. In past generations as Americans, we dreamed big. Now I'm afraid that our eyes are consistently in the gutter, but not in Utah, N not yet anyway. In Utah, we still look up. Cynics like to attack this concept of the Utah way. They say it's a useless slogan, overplayed, untrue, or trite. Some lose interest in the concept as soon as something happens that they disagree with, forgetting that as Judge Learned Hand taught us, the spirit of liberty is the spirit that is not too short is right. We may not always get it right, but in Utah, we reject false choices. Here in Utah, we proudly protect religious liberties and love and proudly protect our LGBTQ neighbors. We deeply love our refugees and immigrants from all parts of the world and deeply respect the rule of law. In Utah, we wisely invest in the future and wisely don't spend beyond our means, even saving for rainy days. We share a love of community while holding individual freedoms as sacred. We protect our unborn and support our single mothers and children facing poverty and trauma. And we fully stand behind our beloved people of color and our beloved people in law enforcement. So let's not be distracted for a second by cynics who fail to appreciate the Utah way. Let's cheerfully and resolutely go about doing the people's work, the real work, the hard work of governance, competently, and often quietly, lifting Utahns up and improving lives.